G'day everybody, my name's Emma Doyle and I'm a speaker, author and coach and I'm here to invite and welcome you to the Emerging Leadership Program is all about elevating leadership in modern manufacturing. So what we're going to be talking about is the how of leadership. The Emerging Leadership Program is going to be very practical. It's going to be learning by doing, what we call active learning. So we're going to be unpacking the modules today to show you exactly what you can expect. And then you're going to go out and implement those skills and add to your leadership toolkit, or as I like to say, your coaching toolkit. Yes, I do have a background in high-performance tennis coaching, tennis coach turned corporate coach. And now I spend my time helping companies, especially in the manufacturing and engineering industries, to train their managers and leaders to adopt a coaching mindset. So one of the things that you will be receiving from me, the gift straight up at the Emerging Leaders Conference when we get to meet in person is a copy of my book, What Makes a Great Coach. Now, this is based on the top 10 practices of over 520 of the world's leading coaches and some even former world number one players and some great business coaches within this book. I synthesized that data into the top 10 practices based on my podcast, the coaching podcast, and I've put together nine modules for the Emerging Leadership 2 program that I'm going to, again, I'm going to unpack here today so you know exactly what you're getting in this program that is based on a lot of the theory and the science behind the research from what makes a great coach. Because adopting coaching skills is really a higher level of communicating. So the more we can do that as leaders, the better we'll be able to not only manage ourselves, become more self-aware, but also be able to have great conversations with our teammates. I always say that your ROI equals your IOR, improvement on relationships. All right, so let's unpack what the nine modules are going to look like for you. Okay, so the Emerging Leadership Program is made up of three core components. The first core component is confidence. Now, I'm not talking about bravado or external confidence. I'm talking about real confidence that comes from within that's much leaded as a modern leader today. The second core component is a leader needs to be dynamic. As we know, especially the manufacturing industry is moving so quickly that we have to be adaptable. We have to be able to lead under pressure and move quickly. And finally, our last core component within the program is to be able to transform. Transform yourself and transform others to bring out the best not only in yourself but in them. As I mentioned earlier, your ROI is very much affected by your IOR, your improvement on relationships. How can you transform somebody? How can you impact them? How can you create environments that want them to be engaged as an employee? Okay, so they're the three core components that make up the outcome of the program. At the end of this program, we want to build your confidence. We want you to be dynamic in this modern world and be able to transform yourself and others. So how are we going to make this happen? Well, remember, the how is important because this is going to be a very practical program. Okay, so the first module that we're going to cover down here is belief. Building belief. We're going to be looking at how some emerging leaders can sometimes struggle with self-doubt, even imposter syndrome. I've certainly experienced that throughout my career. So we're going to be looking at a toolkit around the onion principle and how you can build that layer by layer to take action on belief. Module two is communication.
And this is a part of being dynamic. How can you adapt your communication to bring out the best in others as a leader? And then module three will be purpose. Empowering purpose. Leaders and teams sometimes can lose motivation without a clear sense of direction, not only for yourself, but how does your purpose fit in with the organisation and how do your team members understand what they do fits in to the, their own purpose and that of the company? So module four is one of my favourite modules. It's about decisions. How can we enhance our decision-making skills as leaders? Sometimes you face complex decisions without a lot of guidance. So we're going to be looking at practical tools that you can implement immediately to be able to make better decisions, faster decisions, and, of course, informed decisions. Okay, module five is energy. And I love how it sits here right at the top, almost like the crown of this genius model here, because energy is so important. I often call myself an energy coach because it fascinates me. Our energy introduces us first. Everyone has an energy signature or a, a leadership shadow. That's important that we understand and recognize how our energy impacts those around us, also how it impacts us. So it is important that we prioritize and be able to maintain our energy levels to increase productivity and cultivate resiliency. So that's all about energy management. Okay, now we come back down to this core component of Transform, and that is Module 6, Listening with Empathy. So listening, would you believe, within my book of what makes a great coach came in at the top third response, including people like Roger Federer. I'm sure many of you have heard of the GOAT tennis player. Okay, if you haven't, that's all right. He said someone who listens makes a great coach. Serena Williams, I asked her coach. He said someone who listens. I've asked top business coaches. They said empathy. So listening with empathy. Empathy is 100% the way of the future in leadership because, as we know, ineffective listening can lead to all sorts of misunderstandings, miscommunication, and certainly a disconnect within the team. So we're going to be looking at some really cool principles. One's called the Hawkeye. So how do we look at things from different perspectives? How do we walk in different people's shoes to not necessarily be them, but can we see what they see because it as we say in coaching, everybody has a different map of the world. So it's so important as a leader that you be able to listen with empathy to try and see what their map of the world is, what perspective are they coming from. And we've got a cool little strategy called the AND strategy to add into your leadership toolkit. Okay, and to complete this confidence section, we are looking at Module 7, which is Curiosity. And we're talking about curiosity as a superpower of every single leader that I know. They are deeply curious, and there's so many benefits in being curious. Without it, as you know, creativity can't happen. It's the one thing that artificial intelligence can't replace is a leader's deep curiosity. So we're going to be looking at what we call the CAT strategies, so different ways of asking questions and creating environments to open up curiosity. How do you even block out time to be curious? That is where innovation happens, and it is certainly a superpower of all leaders that one needs within their leadership toolkit, giving you, of course, the confidence from the inside out to be able to lead yourself and lead others. Rounding off our core component of being dynamic, module eight is pressure. The great Billie Jean King said pressure is a privilege. 
So in this module, what we're talking about here is how can you perform with pressure? So we're almost reframing how pressure can sometimes feel rather than it being down and on top of us. What if you had the skills and the practical how to have a difficult conversation? As we know, if we suppress them, they end up blowing up in our face, even if whether we like it or not. So we're going to be looking at one of my favorite strategies around conflict resolution called TFFI, We Can Fly. That's all I'm going to say about that one. But it's a super cool unit around how do we reframe pressure and what does it really mean? Because it's not going anywhere. It's always going to be there as a leader. So how do we learn to embrace it? It's what top athletes do. And of course, it's what top leaders do. Okay, and for module nine, we get to come together again and to round out transforming ourselves and others, we have to be able to grow. So the word here is growth. Okay, growing our people, being able to add the grow model, which is literally the leadership and the coaching tool that you'll be practicing with the rest of the cohort is super, super important if you want to be able to lead. I love that quote from Gandhi, there go my people, I must follow them for I am their leader. So when we put it all together, when we listen with empathy, when we believe in ourselves and in the greatness of others with curiosity, we can then grow continuously learn and the grow model is the best way to do that of course in person at the engage conference to round out our genius model is all about the skills is all about the how can you practice and that's a word we'll be using a lot practice these skills in your day-to-day -day business in your day-to-day -day leadership and management role so that ultimately we're impacting your behavior at your companies to be able to retain talent, ignite talent, and manage talent. It is what the manufacturing industry needs, especially right now. Yes, it is growing, but it's about how we manage our people. It's about how we retain talent. And all the statistics reinforce that if you can do that, you're going to have more engaged employees. And if you have more engaged employees, then, of course, you're going to have a better return on investment and a better bottom line profit, let's be honest. All right, so if you're thinking, this sounds pretty good, Emma. I like the look of the nine modules. You've got your three core components coming together there, but you're still not sure whether this program's for you. Let me give you one example of a coaching tool that you're going to be able to add right now into your leadership toolkit. So each week you will be given a toolkit. It'll look like these different tools that you're going to be able to add into your leadership toolkit. Okay, they're not physical tools per se, but they are metaphorical tools. And especially this is one of my favorite. It is called the hammer. So this tool is all about supporting somebody who needs to take action, perhaps they're a little stuck or they're procrastinating. And I've certainly worked with a lot of engineers that have awesome ideas, but sometimes it stays on the page. The ideas never get off the ground because they're never perfect. So taking action is one way to be able to help that person through the following four questions. The hammer tool, otherwise known as the WDEP. It stands for, the W stands for, so what is it that you want? The D stands for doing what are you doing about it? The E stands for evaluate. How's that working for you? And the P, the P stands for plan, which is how do you plan to proceed? So there's an example of a coaching tool. You'll be able to practice coaching each other on real examples so that you can be able to put this one away in your toolkit, in your leadership toolkit under the module of communication. So it's an example of a tool that we'll be using. And during the virtual sessions, we'll be using breakout rooms to practice the coaching tools. So the Emerging Leadership Program will be hands-on. It will be an active learning process. You'll be given practical leadership tools 
that you can use throughout the month and then we'll come back together, review how you went and, of course, move on to the next tool. So if you're thinking about joining and you're still not sure, please just book some time on my calendar. We can jump on a call and I can talk through any of your concerns or give you more information about the program. Thank you so much to the National Tooling and Machining Association for this opportunity to unpack the genius model that is the Emerging Leadership Program. I can't wait to see as many of you as possible on the other side. And as I always like to say in tennis, talent is not nearly as important as execution and the ball is always in your court to take action. Catch you later. Bye, everybody, for now.